While I'd like to say being drunk would have made Godzilla Kong a way better movie for me, I think to have enjoyed this movie I would have needed to be lobotomized before going to the theater. <clears throat> Hi y'all, SnarkyJ Cosplay here. As of the time of this video's recording, Godzilla Kong, not Godzilla X Kong, is set to release this Friday. I was lucky enough to have been invited to an early screening of it, but I had one major concern with going to the screening, and that is I'm not into Godzilla movies. So for this review, I brought along my best friend since childhood, Adrian, who is a Godzilla fanatic. So for the first and probably only time ever, on this channel, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion and his two completely different viewpoints so that you can get a better understanding of what Godzilla Kong is all about. Because this is my channel and I'm half a narcissist anyway, we're going to be kicking off this review with my portion of it. I rate Godzilla Kong a 2 out of 10. Yeah, literally a 2 out of 10. So first and foremost, I already knew that this movie was not going to be for me. However, one of my guilty pleasures was Pacific Rim back in the day, so I thought maybe Godzilla Kong would have something in store for me. Boy was I f***ing wrong. Let me tell you that this is not a film, this is not a movie, this doesn't feel like it has any real narrative carefully stitched together with clever pacing, well-written dialogue, exposition, and a series of entertaining events this is literally a two-hour fest of monsters smashing each other, buildings toppling. The beautiful thing is that most of these are historical sites. Countries like France, cities like Rome, landmarks like the pyramids. We get to see these all destroyed by giant monsters because why the not. There are entire portions, three to six minute segments where nothing is said, it's just animals, creatures, whatever you want to call them, growling at each other, and we're meant to consider this as heartwarming or moments with real dialogue. We didn't get any of that. And the dialogue that we do get when we're focusing on our human characters, it feels like everybody's kind of in a competition to be more annoying than the other person. I mean, we have the one character that's chronically online, and now we've also got Professor I Want to Speak to the Manager. What the hell is that haircut? Those are both just personal gripes. Everything else is incredibly predictable it's trite, it's boring, a lot of the CGI doesn't even look fully finished, especially with one character in particular that I'm not going to spoil right now. There was really nothing for me in this film. I spent the entire time wishing it was over and honestly feeling like an alien because if I tell you that nobody else enjoyed this movie, I'd be lying. People were applauding, people were cheering, this lady next to me wouldn't shut up giving her own commentary through the movie. And I will say that it seems like it's a good movie for families of kind of hyper kids because the kids really seem to enjoy it. Unfortunately, I'm not a kid, I haven't been lobotomized, I don't care about big monsters stomping on each other. I like movies with good story, so this one literally had nothing for me. I am unable to give Godzilla Kong anything more than a 2 out of 10, and I give it a 2 based on the fact that it seemed like other people seemed to enjoy it. The performances from the human characters, for as annoying and predictable as they might have been, did feel genuine. They really felt like they were trying to sell you the bullshit in that script, and there were some cool tracks featured on the soundtrack that was a welcome addition, so that is what earned Godzilla Kong a 2 out of 10. I was only looking to be entertained. I felt tortured. This film was honestly two of the longest hours of my life. I'd rather get a tooth pulled than have to watch this movie again. That's how f***ing miserable this was. With that being said, reminder, I gave it a 2 out of 10. Now I'm going to include Adrian's portion of this review. I do have to give a disclaimer, Adrian is a little bit camera shy and didn't want to be on video for his portion of the review, but I'm just going to show you guys footage of the trailer while we get his review. So this is Adrian, aka Meyer TSPS. I say this as a deep and hearted Godzilla fan since I was about 10 years old. This is, for me, an 8 out of 10 movie. This is with the caveat that this is not a film. This is very much very dumb nerd stuff. If you love Godzilla, you love this. If you love King Kong, you love this. If you enjoy film as a media or as an art, this is like a roller coaster ride. You get in, you, you strap up, you sit down, you enjoy the vibrations, and then uh, when you get off, you're like, eh, that line, I don't know if that was worth it, but it was fun for like 30 seconds. 
the fights here are fantastic in my opinion, but you, you miss the weight of the earlier Godzilla movies like 2014 or even movies like Pacific Rim. These Titans are not supposed to have weight. They're supposed to be action figures that you slam together. And that's what I used to do when I was 10 years old. This is literally a movie that if you ask 10 year old me, hey, make a movie, I would make this movie. I think this is a perfect family film. I think this is a perfect film for if you're drunk or, or with your friends and you're probably gonna like trash on the movie a little bit, but then like scream really loudly when the fights happen. Eight out of 10 is a Godzilla fan, probably in reality like a six, five out of 10, if you're not a Godzilla fan. If not, lower. I'm being very nice because I like dumb Godzilla stuff. Eight out of 10 is a Godzilla fan. I'm doubling down. And there we have it, folks. The non-Godzilla fan just looking for some entertainment gave it a 2 out of 10, and the die-hard Godzilla kaiju fan gives it an 8 out of 10. Our numerical ratings are incredibly far apart, but I think if you listen carefully, you can hear some similar sentiments. Might be a really good movie for Godzilla fans, but if you're not, you might think it is an absolute bore. If you happen to be inebriated or in the company of some fun friends where you can talk sh through the movie and make it through, that might make it a little more tolerable. If you're anything like Adrian, you're gonna have an absolute blast. But if you're anything like me, you might be just a little bit miserable. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon for exclusive content and special photo shoots. I will add links to both in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on Godzilla Kong in the comments below.